This week, we're looking at another graphic design tool. And I know what you're thinking, do we really need another graphic design tool? But if you're someone who works with a lot of data and you need a really simple and awesome data visualization tool, you're gonna wanna stick around for this week's tutorial where we cover VizMe. As you can tell, VisMe has a ton of features, and I find that their best features go above and beyond things that Canva and PowerPoint can offer. Now, I know you're probably familiar with Canva already. In fact, if you're not, I have a tutorial about the Canva platform. But VisMe is really cool in that it goes way beyond Canva with certain features, like data visualization. If you are a solopreneur, a freelancer, or somebody who works with a team who really needs to make data interesting, you can do so much with custom data points on VisMe. So let's create a project together and I can show you a little bit about what I'm talking about. VisMe gives you tons of different categories. Uh, so you get to pick and choose what it is that you want to build. You not only get tens of thousands of templates for things like presentations, infographics, documentations, uh, printables, you name it, you can find it on VisMe. Bonus point though, for VisMe, you have the ability to use and add GIFs on VisMe. This is something that other competitors like Canva, like PowerPoint are not doing. And if you click this more tab, you also have over 32 different frames to create your own mockups. So if you're somebody who works with products or you're trying to mock up services, um, as you know, I'm a VA. So if I work with any of my clients who are trying to see what some of their products might look like, I can very easily in just a quick uh, couple clicks of a button, make them mockups. Uh, no coding required. This is um, a pretty cool feature that I think Visme does really well too. Now, VisMe functions a lot like Canva. Again, if you're used to Canva, there's really a lot of similarities here. So there's not a huge learning curve if you start using VisMe. In fact, you can preview different templates. So if you're not sure you wanna use something before you start, you simply hit the preview button and then determine if you wanna use it or not. Once you have found a template that you like, you simply hit edit and then an editor, not dissimilar from Canva again, will get pulled up for you. The thing that I think Visma does a little bit better, there's a couple extra features that I really like that I haven't found anywhere else. It's things like adding diagrams. Uh, if you've ever built a diagram or tried to on PowerPoint, you'll know it's one of the most painful and frustrating things you've ever done. Whereas in Visme, you just simply add a graphic or you add a diagram. I also find the graphics on Visme to be pretty stellar. Um, and that's because they offer 3D graphics uh, just to make your stuff a little more visually appealing, tons of icons, characters, gestures, um, avatars, which by the way, everything in Visme can be animated. And when I say everything, I mean everything. So I'm gonna add a blank slide here so that we can start to play a little bit with some of the features that I've just called out. If you are working with a team or working with a product, working with a client where you need to actually show uh, some data that's easy to edit and easy to play with, um, the best thing about this is that it pulls up a table, an editable table for you. So you can basically make these data maps anything you want at all. Uh, I'm just quickly going to enter some different data just so you can see the pie chart changing as I'm actually entering these details. It is so ridiculously easy to manipulate data on this platform. Um, you can even import data. So if you work with Google Sheets or Excel, like I know many of us do, it is so easy to import data and visualize some of the things that you're working with. If you're doing anything like budgeting, expense tracking, sales, whatever you can think of, it is a great way to just simply upload a spreadsheet and then see your data in these beautiful, vibrant, easy to manipulate colors. 
Speaking of colors, once again, it is easy to brand your colors. So if you're working on a particular presentation uh, for a branded company or your client has particular uh, colors that they'd like to be using, again, easy, easy, easy. Everything can be changed to your liking. Looking back at our slide, I wanted to just reiterate that almost everything can be animated on Visme. So anything you want mo to include movement with, you simply highlight the element and come up to this animate option up at the top. These animations are simple and yet they definitely add an extra degree of visual interest making sure that people who are looking at your presentations or your PDFs online keep their eyes on the screen. And I do want to mention that you can actually change the animation timeline to make things longer or shorter. Definitely another pro for making sure that everything you make is unique to your own project. I'd be remiss if I didn't tell you that there are also tens of thousands of videos that you can simply pop into your presentation as well. We can do anything like change the timeline, that's the length of the video. We can add text over these videos as well. And when you're ready to check out your presentation, simply hit this present button and see what it looks like thus so far. When you're ready to share your presentation, you have options too. Again, this is where Visme shines. There are options, options, options. We can publish something right to the web. We can share it specifically with the team. Once again, this is great for team collaborations or sharing it with a client, or we can even embed it into our websites. If you're not trying to share these details, you can also download the slides that you're making in the same formats that Canva offers. Our extensions can be photo-friendly, PDFs, download as a video, or a GIF. So if you wanna animate this ocean slide that we've made together as a GIF, they make it really easy to do so. A Couple more things I wanna point out to you. If you're working on a presentation or a mock-up with somebody and you want to invite them into the editing process, you're simply gonna look for this plus sign up here, the invitation to collaborate, and you're going to enter their details and add them as an editor. When we head back to our main dashboard, Visme will show all your projects here in a really easy to access manner. And you can also create subfolders. Subfolders are particularly helpful if you're working with a number of people and you wanna keep your dashboard clear or make sure that your projects are easy to find in different subfolders. And the last thing I wanna show you too that I love is that you can publish right to a content calendar. Now Canva rolled out something similar recently and you have to be a pro user on Canva to publish your stuff to social media. It is the same with Visme. You have to pay for the premium account to be able to do certain things like publish to your social media accounts. But if you are a paying member, I believe it's $25 a month, making it just $5 a month cheaper than Canva you have the ability to quickly input your Twitter details or your LinkedIn or your Instagram, etc. And once you've connected your accounts, it's very easy to publish social media content. Basically what you'll do is hit this plus sign and you can either choose from a design that you've already created or you can take a look through their templates and find something that's a little more fitting. Once you've landed on a design that you wanna share, all you'll do is hit schedule. We'll choose a destination. That is which social media platform you want to publish to. We can choose a date and time and we can write a caption. The benefit of scheduling social media from a platform like Visme is that you no longer need to pay for services from Hootsuite or Buffer or any other social media platform that you might be paying for. And I saved the best feature for last. My favorite feature about Visme, and this blows Canva out of the water, is their data analytics. When you publish anything to your social media or you share a presentation online, you can actually track who is looking at your content that you've put out there, how many visits it gets, how much time people spend looking at your content. This is all huge. If you created a visually striking piece 
that then you embed it on your website. You could actually track who's looking at this piece. How long are they looking at it? Are they interacting with the details that you're putting out online? This is hugely powerful, not only for freelancers like myself, but for teams with people who are selling products or services, because you can actually track who's looking at what and where. And data is such a powerful and valuable asset for anybody who's trying to get eyes on products. Now, as with any tool, I always advocate that you take the free trial run for a spin before you commit to paying for anything. Now, just like Canva under the free account, you get a limited number of templates to use. But again, Vizmate goes so much farther with the templates because you get embedded audio, you get embedded video, you get GIFs, you get data visualization, you get so much more on the free account. So do give it a whirl. And if you end up using Vizmate for more of your day to day stuff, then you might want to consider upgrading either to a personal account or if you end up uh, down, if you end up downloading a lot of assets that are either PowerPoint, video, or GIF format, you might want to consider the business plan at $25.75. Let me know what you guys thought of this week's tutorial. Do you like Visme? Do you think you're going to try it? If it's free, I say give it a spin. I don't think you're going to regret it. I think you're going to find that it has a ton of amazing features. Thanks so much for watching this week's video, and I will catch you guys on the next one.